Hi everyone, welcome back to Novel's Nook. If you're new here, my name is Victoria, and for today's video, I have a weekly reading vlog for you guys. So, if you guys like book videos, book tags, and anything book related, make sure you guys like and subscribe and keep on watching. So, if you guys saw my last vlog, I talked a lot about the Witcher books, and specifically the first one, uh, Blood of Elves. And I'm still in the process of reading this. I don't remember what I had updated you guys last about this book, but I'm almost done. I'm on 324 of this, and it's really good so far. I'm loving it. And hopefully I'll be able to finish this. I might just update you guys about what's going on in this uh, during this vlog if I end up finishing it. I might not make a full dedicated video of The Witcher because we do have a Witcher review of the TV show that I can leave. Uh, linked somewhere in the eye or down below but I am really loving this book it is really nice and since I'm so close to finishing it I thought I would start up another book which if you guys have been watching my videos for quite a while you would know I had started again but better in a vlog as well I'm on page 98 of this I had set it down a while ago uh, I had gotten really sick uh, with mono a few months back and I just kind of forgotten about it and then a lot of crazy stuff happened coronavirus um, and just life in general and I wasn't really reading at all much except for The Witcher and then once I realized that you know The Witcher book is something I read with Christopher I realized I wasn't reading for myself. I wasn't reading anything targeted for my specific interests. And so I definitely wanted to pick this back up and read it. I am liking it so far. I won't say, well, I will say, I probably won't be giving it a five stars only because this was a book for me that I wasn't able to read all in one sitting. Usually that doesn't happen with me. But there are a few books that I can think about that really captured my attention and I was really able to read very quickly. I like this book. I think it is cute. I love the plot. I love the characters. They're so cute. They're quirky. And I, I love the setting and everything that's going on in this book is, is nice. You know, I don't have a lot of problems with it. I do generally like it. However, like, the book that comes to mind is Red, White, and Royal Blue. I love that book. It's my favorite book of all times. I read that book and every time I set it down, I immediately wanted to pick it back up and start reading it again. I wanted to get through that book. I wanted to read more about it. And with this, I just don't find myself grabbing it as much as I'd like. With books like that, Red, White, and Royal Blue, I didn't want to put it down. I constantly wanted to be reading that book until I finished it. So. That to me is a five star book, is something that I can quickly finish reading and I see myself reading fairly quickly. Yes, everything kind of happened in my life that made me set this book down so I don't blame it, but again, I could have been reading and I just wasn't. So I don't see this being a five star for me, but I don't know. Once I get reading it, it might be a four star. So far, it's looking like a four, a four star book. I'm really liking it and enjoying it. Um, I'm on chapter 14, chapter 14, and I will update you guys on how I'm enjoying it and if I finish it, if I finish The Witcher, and if I start something else. So that's what I wanted to update you guys on. I'm in the middle of these two books, finishing them, and then I really want to get into reading again hopefully finishing this stack of books but also starting uh that list of tbr books that i had when i did my uh tbr jar picks which was really fun i really loved picking from my tbr jar and i picked a lot of great books that i really need to read and get to because they're so <laughs> nothing they're just not new books and it's just something where I have so many great new books I've joined a lot of online book clubs and book twitter has been amazing and I have followed so many great booktubers where I've joined their book clubs so I want to get reading t the newer books but I have so many books that I already own on my TBR that I just haven't read yet so I, I am going to try to tackle those first and get to those while 
you know, things aren't able. I don't even know if I can borrow books from the library right now. So I think that just is a great excuse for me to start reading the books I already have. And then I can dive into reading books once I can get some from the library. And obviously once I go back to college, which is going to suck. <laughs> so I'm going to try to keep reading these and I'll update you guys on how I enjoy them. Let me know what you guys are reading and um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, I'm doing a reading checkup, but I'm gonna make this quick because there is a lawnmower going on outside and I don't want it to be too annoying in the background. So I did end up reading quite a bit of Again But Better yesterday. I started on page, what did I say, like 80 or 90 and I ended up finishing on 157 chapter 23. So I had read quite a bit of it, gotten into a rhythm of really enjoying it and liking it. I do find that I enjoy all the characters in the plot right now. We've got to a really, uh, I think, exciting point in where everything is going to change, especially for our main character. So I don't want to give too much away in case, um, if, in case you haven't read this yet, but there is a bit of drama, I would say, going on right now, which is really fascinating. All right guys, I'm back with the checkup. I have been really enjoying this. Um, so I think I left off with a last checkup, maybe on page 100 or something. I'm not really sure, I can't remember. But I am now on page 248. Let me just tell you, <laughs> there's a plot twist that literally has me shook. I mean, the title is Again But Better, but I was not expecting the events that happen in this. Um, wow. <laughs> it, it was, I'm literally still shocked by it. I continue to read this and think about what has happened and it's honestly crazy. I think it's a little far-fetched on <laughs> the whole scenario and kind of what's happening and if you've read this you probably know what I'm talking about but honestly <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen at all so that was interesting and it happened like halfway so I feel like it was like a turning point the climax of everything that's happening but so far I'm liking it it is really cute again I'm still like hardcore adoring Shane and Pilot I think they're very cute together. He's like like the perfect fictional boyfriend character. Like he loves music, he's sweet, he's yeah. Um no, but I just think they're really cute together and I don't know. I think it's a really good story so far about just like following your dreams and essentially Screw what people say. I think that's such a big thing that I love seeing is how um, Shane just kind of goes against what her parents says and we kind of see how that affects her relationship with her parents, but also what she does with that. And I think that's really huge for us to continue to see her development with trying to tell her parents that, yeah, pre-med might be a very good decision especially like if today like if you think about it pre-med is such a good track to be on and especially if you're going to be a doctor or nurse like that is such a good field that is very highly um needed like this is such a critical career that everyone wants um not everyone wants but like everyone like in society we need doctors we need nurses and it's interesting to see that she wants to pursue that career for her parents and not for herself. What she wants to do is be a writer. And we see that, yes, most of us know, especially on booktube, how hard it is to, um, you know, follow that writing career path. And it's just so fascinating to see her live out this dream on this study abroad and then how that changes as she grows up because this starts on like, 2011 abroad London extravaganza adventures and then we do see her older in 2017 in what her life has been like and then we continue to see more drama and craziness but we do see that shift of what has happened 
and just how happy people are when they follow their dreams and not this set path that people tell them to. I don't know. I think that's fascinating and I really like that aspect of it and I'm obviously I love the friendships. I love a group of friends that each have their own individual quirks and it's not like Mean Girls where it's like there's the populars and then they have like click together where they have similar personality traits. No, these are a group of friends that are like the same but completely different and I think that's also fun to read as well. So I am really enjoying this book and hopefully I will finish it soon. I'm so close to finishing it. I really want to know how it ends because like I said we got to that point where everything happened all at once. Crazy drama. It was <laughs> absolutely insane. And then I don't know how it's gonna end. I thought I had it all planned out and then I didn't realize we were getting a flash forward <laughs> to many, many years. So it's definitely interesting. It's definitely taken some twists and turns that I wasn't ex expecting. So I think that's good. Um, but overall, I mean, it's it's a pretty okay book. I am enjoying it, so I will continue to read it, update you guys. And we haven't read any more of The Witcher, but if I read more of Blood of Elves, I will also update you guys as well. And then if I finish it, I'll do a mini review of it on this vlog and maybe start another book as well. So we'll see. I'm popping back on here for the last and final kind of portion of the reading vlog so essentially what I wanted to do is just wrap up on what's happening and what I've been reading and my thoughts overall so I have talked about reading again but better I finished it I gave this a four stars on Goodreads I did really enjoy it I thought it had an interesting plot and overall i really enjoyed the relationships and friendships throughout the book i think that's one of the main reasons why i liked it so much and why i would like a book like this so much is because of the relationship dynamics and the friendships i think those are maybe the strongest um pieces throughout this there were interesting <laughs> points and interesting um, things that happen throughout this book. I, I don't want to give too much away in case someone hasn't read it. I will say, plot twist, I wasn't expecting it, but I guess that happened. Interesting. And I just think overall it was a cute little read. I flew, I flew through it once I kind of pushed myself to be reading it more, and I did absolutely love the ending i thought that was cute as well so i did give it a four stars definitely wasn't a five star read for me um but what i plan on doing now is finishing the witcher so this is definitely going to be the next book that we finish and dive into i did update you guys on it i think in this video um but i haven't read anything um since then and i'm still in 324 but that being said we only have a few pages left so i'm definitely going to be finishing this and getting that one done but like i had said i wanted to be reading for me and by myself and something that i want so i'm going to be tackling some of my tbrs so essentially what i have done in the past is i've made monthly tbr videos and i have made my TBR jar video. From that video, I'm pretty sure I pulled out this book, Blue Rabbit. And I have talked about this book and I just haven't read it and I thought it was really cute and interesting. I'm going to read the back um, for you just to give you guys an idea if you haven't heard of what this book is about. So 
In Knoxville, Tennessee, there's a bridge to another world. When they first discover it, Erica and her friends feel like they've stumbled into a dream. Erica has always felt that she was meant for more. Haley and her brother Dorian believe in fairy tales. Nathan loves the adventure, and Sandra is wary but finds herself drawn in like the others. Magical and mysterious, the other world becomes their gateway from everyday life until one night a boy from school, Mike, follows them to the other side and he's kidnapped by strange and powerful creatures. Essentially, it's different. It's not typically what I read. I read contemporary YA romances that are fluffy and cute. And this sounds very fantasy, um, childlike. So it's very different from what I typically read. And so essentially, I'm just gonna read the rest. It says, back home, everyone thinks Erica and the gang are responsible for Mike's disappearances. The dream has become a nightmare. How can they negotiate with these creatures to rescue Mike and clear their names? And why are the creatures fixated on Erica who feels drawn to their world, even as she senses the danger? So. I thought it was cute and it's been on my shelf for so long and I just thought I'd read it. Essentially what I've been wanting to do for a very long time is read books that I want to be reading but also tackle the books on my shelves. I buy a lot of books and then I end up not reading them. I think we all can relate to that and I just wanted to start tackling the books on my TBR shelf. So I decided to grab this one. It looks like a pretty quick read and I'm interested in it. I want to see, I want to read more of stuff that I'm not typically reading every day. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little reading vlog that I had. It was really nice. It got me motivated to be reading more. I'm so glad I finally finished this book because I started it so long ago, set it down, and then forgot about it. So it's so nice to finally be getting into that and finishing it. And also, we're going to be finishing this book and then continuing on with the series for this one. So if you guys were interested in seeing this, um, I'll be reading the rest of them. So that's really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week with another book related video. Bye.